add a heat strip. This is a Goodman heat strip and looks like it's a HKS model, the kind that goes in their air handlers. They have an HKR model as well that they use for their package units, if I recall correctly, and their older air handlers. Before they had smart frame, they used HKR heaters. There are a few different other kinds that go in package units for Goodman, but this is a pretty common one for this time period. And as you can see, and we're going to go over the different parts of this heat kit just so you become familiar with them. Now, one of the one of the little components is missing here because I had to use it for another job that I was on. But this part that's missing is the same part as this one. And this exact sort of framework here goes here as well. So you can sort of imagine that. This is a limit switch. If the, let's say the blower doesn't come on or you have a dirty coil or something of that nature where your airflow is diminished, this limit switch will heat up and then turn the element off. It'll basically open the circuit right here so your element won't be drawing any power and it won't be allowed to overheat. There'll be two of these limit switches right here and right here. It's L150, so 150 degree limit switch. These are just jumpers that go in between the limit switch and the elements. Same thing on this side, little jumpers that go across. Right here in this section on the opposite side, we have little one-time fuses here and here, and I'll show you those in a minute. Right here we have the main lugs where your wiring will connect. Now you back these off, you'll slide your wiring in and tighten them back up again. Here and here, 240 volts, and your ground is right here. You can see that. You have L1 and L2, you see it's labeled here. All that stands for is you have 240 volts will have two different legs that carry 120 volts. One of them's called L1, one of them's called L2. And it'll feed all these wires here as part of this terminal block. If we look over here to this side, we have sequencers. Each one of these sequencers is in control of one of these banks of heat strips. There's two. Each one of these sequencers controls one of the elements. We have one row here and one row here. All the way across is basically one element. Each one of these components on each row corresponds with that element. This is the limit switch for this particular element. There'll be a limit switch here for this element. There's one, a, a single one-time fuse for this element and another single one-time thermal fuse. So if it gets too hot, it'll separate and the heat strip won't work again until that fuse is replaced or the heat strip is replaced. As you can see, there is one purple wire that comes off the top of this sequencer here. We can see that. One purple wire travels here and then goes out to this plug. What that is, if the heat strips are running, this will send power to the blower. So if there's not a G call, sometimes things can be set up so the sequencers control the fan. This will power up the fan, basically. And we have some other videos about that. The infamous Goodman blower relay is one that has to do with that. So you can search for that online if you want to see it. So let's look at the back of this heat strip. See, there are two elements. You see one row here and another element here. And you can see the connections down here at the base. Connection here, exiting here. So it travels through this entire element and exits here. The resistance on the element causes them to heat up. And that's where you get your heat. Same thing on the opposite side. A pathway through here, electricity back to here. Once it exits through here, you can see that it'll travel through this jumper and go through the one-time fuse, which is here. And each row has a one-time fuse. Some of those you can replace. A lot of them you can, depends on if they have them in stock, or you just replace the entire heat kit depending on the cost. But that's about it for the Goodman HKS heater, which is very similar to the HKR heater and very similar to most heaters out there. So an insight into this particular heater will give you an insight into a lot of them. As you can tell here, there's an airflow direction on this heater. Not all of them have that, but the Goodman ones do. And hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one, guys.